No! Was I muted? Oh, I was muted, everyone. Really sorry. Damn it. Damn, damn, damn. Right, I'm not muted now. So really sorry for anyone that's watching that. That is super annoying. You know when I'm muted and I don't even know? Right, so what was I talking about? Sorting out a client's website where they got an issue with their email, but it's more to do with their email address, not the contact form, because I've tested with three other email addresses and Gmail, Outlook, and another Outlook, and they all go fine. I get them and the other person gets them, but the client's particular Outlook isn't seem to be working, so we're switching to a different email. Damn it, Karapos, you know that. That's the really annoying thing about this microphone. It is so sensitive. Sometimes you just touch it, it goes to mute. But, um... Talk about annoying, right? Um, but I've got tons of stuff to do today. And I've only achieved 20% of what I wanted to get done this morning, which is really annoying for me. Really annoying. Because when I start the live chat, I like to have made a dent. Because I lose about, you know, one to two hours. I'm productive, but not super productive. So a bit annoyed by that. Doesn't matter, I can still crack on with stuff as I'm talking to you all, right? Um, and what I'm actually doing is modifying my analytics report because I'm going to release it out for other people to have a look at and use as a template. But I need to modify it because I think I need to make it more, what's the word, accessible and easy to understand for everyone. Not just for you guys, but for clients as well. I have my way of explaining, but I want to. I don't. I, I don't want to say I'm dumbing it down. No, it's making it more accessible. So let's say someone who's not familiar with using analytic reports, or you give a report to a client. Hey Phil. Hey, I'm okay. How are you doing? Um, so if you give a report to a client, hey Richard, um, they might not understand analytics. So you've got to be careful of what kind of words you use in analytical reports. When you start talking about bounce rate conversions, I can tell you now a lot of people are not going to understand what the heck you're talking about. So you have to be careful with the wording you use. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. So I don't want to say dumbing down because d when you use the words dumbing down, it sounds very, um, it doesn't sound right. Do you know what I mean? You never want to say you're dumbing down a report, but you do have to make it easy to understand for people that aren't used to analytics. Hey, Mark. Hey, Mark, any more? Did you just reply to me, Mark? Yep, sent a test through to them, Mark. I think it's their email. I seriously think it's their, how are they accessing their emails anyway? I wonder how they're accessing their emails. So I'm just checking something here. Oh, damn it. Just bear with me, everyone. I'm just going to quickly check something on here. I thought I did something, and now what I've done here has disappeared. Where's it gone? Uh... Yep, cool, Mark. Hey, Soren, how are you? Hey, Soren, aren't you meant to be... I thought you were actually going on holiday, so you're still... You're still um, packing the backpack. Thank you, Phil. Yes. 8,000. And last night, I was working out how long until we hit 10,000. And if my calculations are correct, and they probably aren't, we should hit 10,000 by the second week of October. If my calculations are right, by the second week mid-October, we should hit 10,000, which is ahead of the target, I thought we'd hit 10,000 by the end of December. So if we can hit like 10,000 subscribers, two and a half months ahead of schedule, brain explosion. Did I get it, Mark? 
Oh no, sorry, I just saw your confetti explosion thing. What's the boggle? Is there a te well, Carapaz, I'm thinking about it. It was on my mind. It was on my mind. Do I dip into my pocket? Hey, Ben, do I dip into my pocket and do some sort of like give away three cash prizes or something? I was having a think about what to do. So if you guys have any ideas, go and throw an idea at me. Throw them here. Hey, Eddie. Yes, I saw that as well. So Elemental, basically, um, they used to have a platform for affiliates. Then they moved to Partner Stack. Now they're going to move again to something else. I'm not entirely sure why, because the Partner Stack one was actually okay. If anyone does a, uh, you know, if Elemental, you can get an affiliate link. They're now changing again. That will be the second change in 12 months. So they had a platform, then they moved to Partner Stack. Now they're going to move to something else at the at August. So that's two changes in 12 months. Giveaway bricks licenses. Ah, Carapace. I can't do that, Carapace. I can't do that. <laughs> do you know something? I don't think I mentioned in my video I released yesterday that the bricks licenses are unlimited lifetime. Sorry, not unlimited lifetime. Now, the thing is, Phil, I wanted to give something away. You're going to make me, like, literally give up 24 hours of my life. I could do, though, couldn't I? I could do, but I'll end up dead, won't I? Hey, Pixstar. Sorry, I didn't, I just, sorry, Pixstar, I was, I was replying to the bricks thing that Carapos wrote. Not sure about those competitions for course access. You'll have to tell me a bit more about them. Tell me a bit more about them. Like Divi Carapos, come on. By the way, um, uh, George, um, um, hopefully George will be recovering. I know he's got COVID from his hospital visit, which ain't great. But hopefully he'll be back tomorrow or the day after from home again. So if George is watching or not watching... Hope you get well, George. We all miss having you here, okay? Hey, Dave. Harrogate. Yeah, Har I have to say, though, Dave, that uh, the York Festival of Writing, I think, is better than Harrogate. I've been to them, uh, but the Harrogate one is great as well. Hope you made lots of contacts, um, and I hope it brings work into you, Dave. Yep, give away elemental license, maybe. Uh, to be honest, Mark, if they've got an email dropping into their junk, they need to go to um, they need to go to their email provider, which will pro there with GoDaddy. Don't forget, they need to go Daddy, and they need to kind of do something over there. Or when they access the email, how are they accessing the email, though? Are they accessing the email on their phone or a computer? But they need to right-click the address, and then they need to say not junk, not spam. Does that make sense, Mark? They've got to right-click it or um, do something on their computer or their phone. Hey, Darren G, how are you doing? A podcast with George. That would be good, you know. That would be good. Maybe even one day I'll do a live chat with George, maybe. Get him on. A bit like what Paul does with me. Maybe we'll do that. Maybe, you know, just a live chat between me and George does talking about what we hate, what we love, and what we like doing. That'd be a good idea. Okay, Mark, um, I'll leave it up to you, Mark, if we're going to charge him for that, because that was an issue with their email, not us, right? But I'll let you decide on that, okay? Because it wasn't the website. It was there email. Don't, oops, no, don't forget we have the mastery modules. Uh, and by the way, you did know that we now have the clothing available as well on our website, right? If you didn't, well, I'm telling you now, we do. So what are you all working on this week? What are you all working on this week? 
What are you all working on? I mean, don't forget, right, so if you go to our Mastery Modules page on Web Squadron, the T-shirts are now available, okay? The T-shirts are now available, including the hats and the hoodies as well, okay? So uh, I actually do like this T-shirt here for a main reason, because I think it's like, if you read what it says there, can you read what that says there? You're just a web designer, yep, but you still need me. So how about a little bit of respect for web designers, right? Because we don't get the respect, do we? You're just a web designer. Yep, but you still need me, right? Um, needs a bit more respect, that. Nice one, uh, Eddie Learning Bricks. Hey, Learn IT. Maybe, maybe. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. <laughs> Pixstar doing mostly nothing well. I kind of guessed that, Pixstar. You know, I wouldn't expect anything else from you. Ah, Phil. Affiliate gathering custom theme. Ooh, that sounds good. Love to see that. How to see the parking time. Ah, right, Indipreet. Mm. Is that something you're doing, Pix uh, Indipreet? Hey, Dave, this is good. I love it. You're working on a website, content for customer, SEO for another, and then website build too. This is great. This is brilliant. Everyone give Dave a round of applause. I'd love to hear that. I'd love to read that. Uh, Phil, 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 Phil. Um, just to clarify, yeah, Phil, the emails are going through, so the emails are going through totally fine. The trouble is that the, this client's particular outlook, for some reason, their outlook is not accepting. But emails are going to other Gmail and Outlook and other websites, uh, email accounts. It's not the form. It's the client's particular Outlook address. Something with that address, something is not right there but we switched to a different email. Hey, da hey, Dave, how are you? Not seen you for a while. What are you up to? Hey, Mia. You know, it's always great to have you whenever you are here, Mia, okay? It's always good to have you, right? Love having you here. So yeah, if anyone wanted to know, you know, the, the tea, we always kept getting asked about merchandise and what, what we've, the way this has been done is I'm using print, Full.com. So you do your products there, you connect it to your WooCommerce website, and then it automatically pulls them through, right? So, so they are all now available there. And of course, we've got the mastery modules, but blah, 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 blah. Let's not focus on that. Right, let's just check the questions. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Phil. It's something to do with their outlook, you know, something to do with their outlook. Um, but we know that we know that it goes to my outlook, it goes to Mark's outlook, it goes to my Gmail, it goes to another email account I tested. N n absolutely fine. It was just that one. And now when we get them to use their actual domain email address, which is what they should have been doing anyway, it now works fine. Hey, Andrew. Yeah, well, um, maybe I'll do a video on Printful as well, just to explain um, how easy and quick it was. Who would love to see me do a video on that? Who would love me to do a video on that? Hey? If so, I'll do one on uh, how to set up a Printful account with your products, with your logos, and whatever else you want to put on. How did I do it? So here's what I used. Canva, Printful.com, WooCommerce. And that was it. That was it. In fact, last night, uh, one of our uh, friends from our previous Mastery membership said, hey, where's the hoodie? Where's the hoodie? So as soon as they said that, I just quickly went on and in like the space of like what, 15 minutes, I created the hoodie, 
the, the sweatshirt, the cap, and the beanie cap as well. So I just created four products and added them on to the shop in like 20 minutes. 20 minutes. Boom. That's how quick and easy it was. And the great thing about Printful.com, and I'm not, no affiliate link, they have loads of products, aprons, face masks, um, blankets, um, bottles, mugs, you know, pictures, loads of stuff. Loads and loads of stuff. So learn IT. What do I use for the course plugin? Um, nothing. Nothing. It's all elemental. It is all elemental. All I'm using, though, is a, a plugin, which means you can't access the page unless you buy a particular product. But everything is just built using Elemental. So I don't have to worry about LMS. I don't have to worry about compatibility. I don't have to worry about updates. Nope. It's all pretty simple. Uh, printful.com, Eddie. Printful. P-R-I-N-T-F-U-L. Dot com, printful.com. Uh, yeah, Andrew, cool. I've noted it down. I will do a video on it. Um, Carapos says make a live stream with Jim Farhad. No, 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 no. I'm not doing a Jim Farhad because they went on a bit of an anti-Web Squadron campaign, didn't they, for a while. Mr. Web Reviews, can I just say it out here? If you're listening, Mr. Web Reviews, you're probably the most fakest uh, YouTube influencer I know, so there I'm going to say it. You just, you just, you promote whatever product pays you to promote. That is my opinion of Mr. Web Reviews, right? You are false and fraudulent in what you do, but hey, it's just my opinion, right? Okay? I've got nothing against you. All I'm saying is be a bit more honest about what you do. And what you're promoting. Don't tell people this is the best product out there. Don't tell them, yeah, I've used it to do X, Y, Z. Because you haven't. You're just being paid to promote jack shit. Nah, Carapace, I can't be asked. Do you know what? All it will do is get me in trouble. Hey, Raja, what's up to you? How are you? I, I can get very passionate about... When I see some people do a video and I go, right, let me just have a look. And I can clearly tell they're, they're creating a cock and bull story to make you, the user, buy or purchase this plugin. And you can clearly tell. He did it once on a plugin. I can't remember which one it was, but it was a plugin that I had already looked at and it was downright rubbish. I put a comment on saying, why are you telling people X, Y, Z, but you're dodging the fact it doesn't do any of that? Why are you telling him it does it what does it when it doesn't? And you know what he did? He stopped comments being posted on his video. Anyone who stops comments being posted on their video, right? Especially him. It's basically saying, right, so you don't want people to have an opinion about the fact that you're saying this. I can't remember what the plugin was. It does all this stuff. No, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. It's all cock and bull. Uh, Mr. Web Reviews, Mr. Web Reviews. Go and look at his channel, Mr. Web Reviews. He reminds me of a dodgy salesman. He reminds me of a, you know, like it's like you go in a market and then the guy comes out with like perfume and sprays it on you. Mm, you smell amazing. The women will love this. The men will love it. Your donkey will love it. Even the spiders will fall from the sky. They'll love it. Here, spray some more perfume. Ooh. You know, they're full of, like, sleaze and... They're like that. They're like, you know, you know when you see a guy in a bar? They're, like, leaning over. They're like that. They're very sleazy, you know, like, with sweat pouring out their nose. Ooh, hello. But that's just my opinion, isn't it? Who am I? Who am I? I'm a nobody. I'm somebody... Who's a nobody? Get me? Hey, sure, Andrew. <clears throat> I will do a video on that, all right? It will be a... It will be a... How do you really quickly... Hey, Nikos. How do you really... And Shubham, how are you doing? How do you really quickly set up a print-on-demand website? 
Yes, Print. Yes, Eddie. They do. Hey, Eddie, can I ask that you wait until I do my video and I'll get the video out uh, Thursday, maybe? Can you wait on the video? Because there's a few things I'll clarify. If you just wait, okay, Eddie, don't rush into it because there's a few things I wish I had known before I did it. So just wait, okay, before I do that, right? Okay, just wait. Because it works better with Stripe, by the way, not PayPal. No, sorry, I got that wrong. PayPal, it works fine with PayPal. But just wait, all right, just wait. Hey, WP Webhouse. Have we spoken before WP Webhouse? Uh, Shubham says he wants to take a backup of all of his WP websites in one click. Whoa. Um, um, I'm not sure. Has anyone got... Sorry, Eddie. Um... Can anyone help Shubham out? I'm not sure of that. Can you back up all of your WordPress websites in one click? Well, Shubham, how about you set up your updraft to all happen at midnight? Why don't you do that? Why don't you do updraft and set them all to happen at midnight, maybe? So, like, at what, I, I don't know, uh, 1 p.m., 5 p.m., whatever, all of your, your backups are created. Why don't you do that? That's, that would be the simplest way, I think. No, Ben, that would, no, 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 no. I can't do that, Ben, for two reasons. Number one, I'd have to go and learn Divi. Not got time for that. Number two, I think George and me would fall out because even though I don't use Divi, I know he loves using Divi, so no, I can't do that. I can't do that, Ben. And anyway, I'm at the minute on a bit of a, just like John said, updraft. Yeah, makes sense, doesn't it, John? Just set it to when it's going to happen and it happens. Um, but, you know, um, I'm, I'm on a mission to become more um, au fait with Bricks Builder so that I can get more used to working with it. Um, so I really want to have a go with that. 10, 24 p.m. Thank you for that. Um, that doesn't even cover the cost of a Pepsi bottle, but I'll take it. But I'll take it. <laughs> um, so, Phil, we have free backups of all our sites. Yeah, so I'll tell you our process, right? Um, um, when I know I'm doing anything on the website, I'll do the all-in-one migration. You have the updraft, and then I have the site ground. The site ground backup is very, very reliable. Let me tell you now, the site ground backups are flipping reliable. Then you got the updraft and I got the all-in-one as well. So I've got it on my hard drive in case you can't get it from the up. What if something happens on the updraft cloud? What if site ground can't be accessed? Whatever. I've got it on my hard drive. And the great thing about having it on your hard drive is I can also send it to the client if I so want. Yeah, so Pixstar, you've said manage WP. I was thinking that, but I couldn't remember from memory if you can do a backup of all at the same time. Carapos, you and Ben need to stop putting these blasphemous words like WP Bakery on my chat Listen, 1024, um, I want to say thank you if the videos are really helping. Um, that was the aim of why we set up the YouTube channel. We wanted to do things in a slightly different, more transparent, honest way. We also wanted to be um, show you tips and tricks of how to do things where you don't have to always use another plugin or... or um, massive code there were some videos that had loads of and I code and I was like yeah but I bet you don't need all that or also um like the call to action video I did uh two weeks ago I think it was two weeks ago so many people use a plugin to get the zoom in on the image or massive code when they want to put an image on and they want it to zoom in but not go out of the boundaries or the border 
And I was like, just use the call to action, would you? So I'm really glad the videos are working for you. I mean, comments like that mean a lot. I'm not just saying that. They, they seriously mean a lot. And I think anyone else here who has a video or a blog or anything like that, they'll know what I mean. Like, Eddie, you're doing loads of good work on your Facebook channel and your blog. The minute someone replies on one of your social media posts or your blog or shares it or whatever, the 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 impact is so amazing. It's, it's such a lovely, warm feeling. Don't forget to like the live stream as well, everyone. OK, don't forget to like the live stream. Do you know something, Phil? I always have to pinch myself that Manage WP is owned by Goo GoDaddy. But then again, was Manage WP built by GoDaddy or was it acquired? And I think it was acquired. So in that way, they might have been acquired, but the real talent was behind the creation of the Manage WP, which wasn't GoDaddy. Or did GoDaddy create it? I think they acquired it. Wow, Phil. I mean, you say you do sound like you've got it all sussed out, mate. Yeah, ex Pickstart, exactly. All in one migration, especially the extension. The extension, what is it like? 50, 60 pounds, 50, 60 dollars is worth it. Anyone who has not got the all in one extension, so you, could, you can have super big files download, exported, and imported, you must get it. It is worth its money. It's worth its weight in gold, right? Worth its weight. I would look at example websites, Andrew, for your school template. By the way, please don't forget to click like. Um, the like helps the YouTube algorithm, all right? It helps the YouTube algorithm. And don't forget, if you go to our website, you have got the merchandise now that you can get. And don't forget the mastery modules if you want to learn and learn, basically. You know, if you've got loads of free time on your hand, go for it. Yeah, Phil. So I've noticed the amount of updates on Managed WP or anything happening more is gone like that as well. Bit stagnant. Main WP Nikos. Yep. I think I got used to using Managed WP, which is why I still use it. Not a lot, but still use it where I have to. Yeah, Dave. Um, by the way, everyone. If I'm late on replying, it's because I get caught up in talking or whatever. But yeah, Dave, um, that call to action widget, you know, when you see the power of what you can do with it, flipping blows your mind. Every time I think of what I could do with the call to action, you could easily use it and someone's going to think, wow, you must have done a lot of work or you did a bit of code or was that a plug in? And you go, no, it's just Elementor's call to action, which you've got as well. The bit I love about the call to action is how, you know, when you have it, so the words are over the image, not below, but they're on the image. And when you hover, you can have the image move and the words go like, you know, like you can have them do different things. A year ago, a year ago, I would be sticking in CSS code to make that happen. How many go, oh, I want to change it. Oh, the transition. Oh, does it go here? Does it go there? And now, like that, so good. Not, oh, Phil, so when you say you're building your own, you're going to sell it. Will it be available to others or is it mainly more of a local bespoke thing? The trouble is, Andrew, that a lot of private public school websites are drop dead, tragic, boring. They look so, they look, they, they almost have like a folder structure, don't they? Signposting. It's like, go here for that, go here for that, da da da, da. Which is fine, but they, they so look boring, don't they? And the colours. Why are so many school websites got these like dusty, faded colours? It's like they all go for beige or page colours or like these um murky, creamy colours. Why do they always look so... You know, mm. I mean, look, let me just show you this, right? I Bright, vibrant colours, right? Why are school websites never really vibrant? I don't mean 
bright neon colours and in your face. No, I'm talking about make it inviting, pull you in. Why do they not do that? Has anyone else noticed that with school websites? They tend to put like, like they always go for navy blues or really like dark, murky green, swamp thing green. Why do they do that? And it's not just due to their logo, right? You look at their logo and the logo is like yellow, red and black. And then the rest of the website's like this murky, bluey colour. And you go, what are you doing? <laughs> like you could, like even their buttons are not yellow or red, even though the logo is yellow, red and black. And you go, what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you get what I mean? Yeah, ah, yes, Phil. Right. Friggin' PTA. That is exactly probably what it is. Oh, the button's too big. Ooh, I felt like it hit me in the eye. <laughs> right, can you imagine PTA meetings when they're talking about websites? Oh, I don't understand. When it says contact me, are you contacting me? Change it to contact the school. <laughs> Quite frankly. <sighs> hey, Eddie. Of course, Eddie, I will take that on board. <laughs> but... I have got videos already scheduled in YouTube to go out until the 10th of September. But, so the videos coming out until the 10th of September, they're already they're already in YouTube, ready to go out. Right, let me just read the comments here. Nice one, Phil. I look forward to hearing more about that when you obviously get that up and running. And I'm sure Paul WP Tuts will be interested in that as well. Do you know what I mean? I think that would be really good. So Learn IT, you want to know how did I set up? Right, let me share with you. Let me share with you uh, what you need to do, right? So just wait a minute. Just hold on a minute, Learn IT, right? I've just got to get the video for you because I actually created a video. So what I'm going to tell you is I actually did a video for it. Where is the video? Right, here you go, Learn IT. Learn IT, go and watch this video. Go watch that video, right? Go watch that. I do not have certificates. I don't have anything on there which says, right, you completed this module, now go to this one, and it remembers. Because... Stuff like that, you then end up having to use an LMS or an extra plugin. I wanted to keep it light and concise in what I've done. So go watch that video, all right. Exactly, Andrew. They um, Their websites need condensing and simplifying. It's like they go crazy over, ooh, we want da 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 It's like department after department. But I find a lot of websites that don't even have blue or green in their logo or their branding or anything, they tend to go with blue and green. And it makes me start to think like that whoever's creating the website is just regurgitating the same kind of template. They just regurg Whoever's building it just regurgitates. So learn IT. What you have to understand, right, is if I show you this, right, these all link to a product. You got to buy the product to access the module. But you go here to you when you click on here, right? Did I click it? Yeah, I did click it. It takes you through to purchase the product or whatever, right? But to access it, right? This is where you start to access it. Now you can't see this page, right? Look, here's the content. Here's the con some of the content. You can't see this page unless you've bought the product. This is just an elemental page, right? That will be that's built out however we want to do it. Okay? But this is just an elemental page. It's not even a shop page. I built it to be how I want it to be, not just your traditional shop page. But by using a plugin it means that you can't access that module unless you buy this product or products, however you want to set it up. So I've saved myself an LMS plugin because when you have an LMS plugin, you are now dancing to their tune. 
You will lay out how they say you are allowed to lay it out. You will do your structure how they say you must do it. You know, title, module, course, da da da. you know, and all that. And you are now doing it to what they want. But if I create an elemental page, I can lay it out with what I want, how I want. I can do what I want on it. And you can't access it unless you purchase a product. I decide what you have to purchase. One product, many products, any of these products. But the fact that you can do whatever you want on that page means I can put a video, I can put a, a quiz, I can put accordion, I can put a toggle, I can put a gallery, I can put PDFs. I can do whatever I want on it. So it's, it's a, it's, it's, for me, it's like thinking out the box. I want to achieve X. So how do I do that? Well, I can create my own page. There's a plugin for free, which restricts the page unless you bought a product. WooCommerce for the product. PayPal and Stripe for payment gateway. So if you're in India, you can still use Stripe. If not, you could use PayPal. Express, all that sorted out. Hold on. I've just used free plugins. Sorry, free as in they are free. Whereas with the LMS, I'd still have to do a payment gateway. Might still have to connect it to WooCommerce. I mean, I'm restricted exactly by what I need to do. So it's it's thinking out the box in terms of um, solving a problem. It's deady because I have found, I looked at so many LMS plugins, Lyft, uh, this, Tutor LMS, LMS this, blah, blah, blah. I looked at loads. I even purchased two, managed to get a refund very quickly though on them. And I found you are always restricted by what they do or they lay out. And if you want to give your client or customer a, a certificate at the end of it, if you want to give them like something that says you've completed 40% and when they go log back in that it's ticked off, then you've got to go down an LMS route or a plugin. But if you're not bothered by that, and I can tell you a lot of people are not bothered by that. I don't care about the certificate. What am I going to do with it? Stick it on my wall? kind of thing. And the whole tick thing, eh, you know, that's not really that is 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 good, but it's not a showstopper. So yeah, have a think about that. Yeah. Yeah, cool to learn IT. I'm glad I'm glad that kind of sunk in there. Sorry I went on and on about it. Just wanted to clarify my thought process. Don't forget to like the video. Uh, yes, it is 1024, all-in-one WP migration. It's that one. All-in-one WP migration. That's the one. And there's an extension, a premium extension. Which, which YouTube video are you referring to? Do you mean the one in the modules? Do you mean the one in the module? Yeah, they're unlisted. Which ones do you mean, mass stigma? You might have to clarify that. So, hey, Muha. Okay, so Nitro Pact obviously delays JavaScripting. The 10 web uh, page speed booster also does the same, so I don't like that. Yes, mass stigma, they're unlisted. They're unlisted. Um, um, yep, yeah, they are enlisted. Um, second thing, um, what was the other thing I was going to say? What was the other thing I was going to say? So Sarah Finite, I'm still not sure how Sarah Finite does what it does. And I think it delays as well. However, there's one thing about Sarah Finite, even though I did a video on it, I've now realized I don't like is that. You can only do it for, I think, 5,000 page views, which is quite a lot. That is a lot. But if you've got a heavy traffic website, you're going to eat up 5,000 page views like that, especially if you're doing social media marketing. No, Carapod, do you know something? Sorry, it's not cheating. Delayed JavaScripting isn't cheating. I just feel like it makes it... I feel like it just makes it too easy to um, get a high score without doing a lot of the hard work. But then again, though, I mean, Nitro Pack loads up a blank page, doesn't even load up the page. 
as long as it loads up the page and I feel like that, yeah, you're right, Carapaz, then it's probably not so bad. Yeah, by the way, Mia, you know, any questions ever about that, just reach out. Yeah, you know where I am. You know, if ever you if ever you've got an idea, run it by me. Drop me an email. I'll happily email anyone back and go, What are you trying to do? And I'd go, right, yeah, use that for that, use that for that, use that for that. And here's the process. So I would say, number one, do this. After that, then do this, then do this, then do this, right? So I'll give you a step-by-step -step process because what you don't want to do is do this before you do this because then you might regret it and it might not work. To be honest, though, Mastigma, um, people are going to do that anyway. Do you know what I mean? If someone is going to um, uh, get your URL, because look, think about it, yeah? You could pay for a video or whatever. You open the video. What is there to stop me doing a screen capture of your video with the sound? Right? If someone's going to do it, they're going to do it no matter what. And I always feel like I like, you know, like I can't make everybody in the world be honest. I can't do that. But if someone's going to do that, they're going to do that. If I find out they've done that and they've put it somewhere else, They'll get a they'll get a rude awakening, right, with legal action or whatever. But it's one of those things where if someone wants to take a video, they could easily just screenshot it and all of that. Well, Muha, I don't know what the I can't remember what the limits are to be honest, and that's why I'm not a mass. That's why I would say that you're far better off working on your website. It's far better off. Let me just give you a video, right? Hold on. Let me get you a video. Right, here you go. So, page speed, right? You need to watch this video, all right? So, there's a video I've just posted on there for you, all right? Yeah, you are you are right, Carapace. Yeah, WP Rocket. The thing is, though, about WP Rocket and some of the page speed boosters, they do still load the website. There's a delay, but they load it. Nitro Pack doesn't load. Nitro Pack is literally, it loads a blank page. Have you seen the results for Nitro Pack? It literally loads a blank page. Right, Mia. Yeah, nice one, Mia. Yeah, and, and I think that's a great idea. And, and the other thing also is... You know that when you're building your page without using an LMS, you're now building it to what works for your client. Let's say your client is a yoga teacher. You could have a big video with a sidebar that has some stuff on with like affiliate links, with courses underneath they can purchase. Add, you, you can design it. You could even put a shop bit on the page. So it's got like, uh, do you want to buy uh, a water bottle? a blanket, a bag, you know, you know, to do with the company. So you can do all of that. Yeah, you know what I mean, Carapaz? They are really proper, like, um, they are, pro I mean, the Nitro is a proper cheap bag because I tested it and I even did a video load of it with the results and it literally is a blank page. It And it's like, what? You're not even loading. The others at least load slowly over time. Uh, yeah, sure, Ben. Let me get it for you. Let me get it for you. Here you go. Right. So, uh, element detector. There you go, Ben. Element detector. Do a search for element detector and you'll find it. Exactly, Muhan. That's the thing. And that's why I say, yeah, that it's an unlisted video. But if someone is going to go in and manipulate it or whatever, then fine. Do you know what I mean? And, um, you know, it's like, yeah, look, there's only so much you can do, right? So I go, right, I've done a little bit. Like, you could use Presto Player. So Presto Player 
removes the URL, so they can't right click. But like I've just said, they could open the video, screen capture it with the sound, and you got the video. So if they're if they're gonna do it, they're gonna do it. It's like images. You know when people say, "Oh, how can I stop people from copying an image?" And people go, "Ooh, here's a bit of JavaScript. Here's um, here's um, a plugin, and it stops you doing right click." And I sort of say to them, "But I could easily do this. I could easily go to the website, open the image, and I could then do this. I could then grab my screenshotting tool." And I can go, oh, I want all of this. No, I want this image here, right? Like that. And I could then capture the image, right? So if someone wants to get an image, they're going to get the image, right? So, and I always sit there going, you can't stop them screen capturing or recording. <laughs> so what was the point of the extra plugin? or this extra bulky bit of code, which now removes all right click on your website. And I often say that if someone is gonna like take your image and share it, sometimes that can actually work in your favor as well. And you know, if someone, I don't want you to, by the way, if any of you do this, I'll be really upset. But if someone starts to share my video elsewhere, let me give you an example, right? In the old days, about 10 years ago, right, when ebooks were really becoming a massive thing, ebooks, right, some people got offended when someone was downloading the ebook and making it available for free elsewhere. What they misunderstood, though, is that yes, you're losing income, but if that book is over there and it's being read and people are liking it, there is a chance they might come back to find out more about you and what else you've written and they might purchase something else to either support you or because they can't get the book elsewhere. Sometimes that can actually work in your favor. I don't want anyone here to rip off our videos. Please don't do that. But if any of you take our videos from YouTube and you embed it on your blog, I don't mind. If you put my videos, my YouTube videos, you know, from our YouTube channel onto your social media, go for it. Don't mind because you're actually sharing and helping us to build an audience and getting us out there. Right. So um, it's like Eddie. He's got a blog post and groups if he ever he wants to use one of our videos. So the video we did about um our mastery modules and how we built it with a plugin. If you want to do a blog post about that, about the methods, but you put the video in, go for it. Element How, Maxime from elementhow.com. He's done loads of tutorials. I've sometimes then looked at his tutorial and I've created a video. He sees the video, he puts the video on his channel. I don't mind, I used his code. So I've used his code to create a video he puts the video on the um, his his um, his blog website, so he benefits from the fact that you've got these written instructions, or you can just watch the video. Either way, they're still going to have to come to his website to get the code because I've put a link back to his website. So there's almost like this um, sharing kind of thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, and you know what? Um, yeah, basically that's what it is. I think we've done that one to death now. Yeah. Do you know something, Pixar? That's where I am. So I first looked at Bricks on Saturday, released a video on Monday. I haven't actually gone back into Bricks since Saturday, and it's now Tuesday. I would, I want to go back into it tomorrow. I want to go back into Bricks yeah. tomorrow, right? I want to go back into it tomorrow. Hey, Bookmark. Hey, Francisco. How you doing? But, um, yeah, Watermark. Yeah. To be honest, though, John, you know what? Um, these days, right? Even if you bought a mark, if someone's going to take your video and share it somewhere, they'll share it. They're going to share it, right? It's just, um, 
I mean, that is a good point, though, John. You do make a good point there, watermarking, yeah. I think maybe we should start doing it. In fact, you know what? I think you're right. We should definitely do that. We should be watermarking all the videos. Hey, uh, Francisco, I'm okay. How are you doing? Wasn't it you, Francisco, who had the issue with the uh, mastery modules last week with PayPal? Was it you? No, it wasn't you. It was someone else. Or was it you? I can't remember now. Hey, Car Carapos, you keep saying this right. When does your elemental project actually end? When does it actually end? Hey, Eddie, you, do you know what? Yeah, if people like the videos or what you've written and I'm on the blog and they come back and they um, subscribe or follow or work with us or whatever, it is a win-win all the way around. And that's why I say if anyone wants to do something, do it. Hey, look, Soren, you better go and finish your packing. Have a safe trip. When are you back, by the way, Soren? When are you back? No, uh, Francisco, I might be mixing you up with someone else. I remember someone said they couldn't access the module. No, they couldn't buy it because they have they are in India. So I had to set up the Stripe connection because it, it was just set up for PayPal Express. Five-day hiking, right, nice one. S hopefully see you back Monday or next Tuesday because you might need a day off. Yeah, good point. I might, I might, um, I might do that. I might do that. Right, I am gonna, we've been live now for, uh, we've been live for 54 minutes. Please do keep hitting like. We don't always get as many likes which I understand because not everyone's going to like what we do. But take care, Soren. Okay. Cheers, Eddie. I mean, um, I try to be approachable and I try to be as helpful as I can. In fact, when we first started, the, did you know that when we first started the YouTube channel, if you watch the first 20 odd videos, the very first videos we did, they were done because someone asked a question on YouTube and I would go and do a video to help them out and then I would stick the video on a YouTube channel so they could go and look at it later on. And after a while, I got into the habit of, you know what? Uh, I'm enjoying this and I love the fact it's helping people out. Nice one, Francisco. Well, the thing is, Eddie... Um, it says to me that we've had 95 people jump onto the live chat. A lot of them jump on and jump off very quickly. So 26 likes is about right. We always seem to be about 25, 30% likes. Um, and I would love to get that up to at least 50% and then 100 Not sure about the WhatsApp bit. I have to be honest. I'm not sure. Um, I think I think anything on WhatsApp when you're sharing a link doesn't always come through properly sometimes. Right. I am going to be cutting the live. Hey, Holland. Yes, it has been a long time since you've been here. How are you doing? I am actually cutting the live in about two minutes. So any questions, please ask them now. Um, please don't forget. I know I keep saying it. If you go to websquadron.co.uk, you go to the mastery modules. Not only do we have our modules, but we also have our merchandising gear, right? So if you want to get yourself kitted out with uh, like this T-shirt here, okay, which is, there we go. You are very important, but I just put, exclamation mark important. The coders will get it, all right? The coders will get it. Don't forget that's all there. Yeah, you take care, Pig Star, as well. Okay, you take care too. Yep, Eddie, you take care. 
Oh, Taylor. Okay, Taylor's got a question. Let's try and answer it. Um, I, to be honest, um, Taylor. So they, they, um, you know, they had a marketing team. They um made quite a few of their marketing team redundant, um, about three weeks ago. So because they've cut back on their marketing team, you will have noticed that the one minute YouTube videos is like completely gone non-existent. You'll have noticed there's not as many social media posts. And um, yeah, the engagement levels have dropped off. Um, sure, Holland, email me info at let me just put down. See that there? Info at websquadron.co. Oh, no, it's not on there. Sorry. Info at websquadron.co.uk. So a lot of their marketing team and there were people who I used to talk to a lot, messaging and stuff. They've been let go. And I thought that was really bad. So loads of stuff about cloud, the one minutes, they've all cut back. Have you noticed? Which I felt was a bit like, uh, no, yeah, they're leaving. A lot of them were released by Elemental. And I think they're changing their strategy. And I've got a feeling we're going to see different things happening. I think I think they're changing the way they do it. But I think, um, yeah, I think it's a bit of that as well, Carapaz. I think they've realized that marketing is one thing, but developing and making Elemental better and better and better is another thing. Uh, I'll be live tomorrow in um, 23 hours time. 23? 23 hours time. But Holland, please do email me and I'll get back to you, okay? No, they're not, they're not closing up, Taylor. They're just um, reducing it from what I know. From what I know. By the way, I've got me and Paul from WP Tuts. I've got a meeting with Verdi from Elemental on Thursday. And I might ask him a bit more about the marketing stance and how things have dropped off. What's the, what is the, um, so it's going to be an exclusive talk, actually. What's happening? Okay, look, Holland, please send your question. Uh, Deepanshu, how much future do you see in CMS development? Well, WordPress is my CMS. So I would say that as long as you're fine with WordPress, fine. There's always going to be people out there creating their own platform. There's always brand new ones, right? I don't really use Webflow. I hear a lot of good stuff about it. I've also heard there's a big learning curve. At the same time, I've also heard that the community is not as, as, not as um, big or vibrant as WordPress. WordPress community is massive. Webflow community is not massive. I've heard it's good, but I've also heard there's a big learning curve. And I'm a WordPress user. So going into a non-WordPress solution makes no sense to me whatsoever. I use Elementor. I'm, I might start using Bricks Builder as well. Who knows? But at least it's still WordPress. So I know WooCommerce. I know the strengths and weaknesses. I know this plugin. I know that. Would I go to Wix? No. Would I go to Shopify? No. Squarespace? No. Webflow? No. And that's just the way I am. I've used I've used Croco Block. I haven't used it fully. I found it quite complex, and I felt I was spent more time working out rather than using. And I prefer to use and get on with things. If I'm like that, going, what's that? And what's that? What about this? What about that? and I'm not doing, it puts me off. It's like if you sit in a car. I can drive. I got a car. If I sit in a car and I'm like this, okay, so how do I start? And how do I move off? I lose interest. I am planning it, Holland. I am planning it. However, there's quite a lot of videos already. So when I get used to it more, I might have a go. If you're really good at WordPress development, decide on your page builders, Deepanshu, and then go out there and find your clients. Go out there and build your name up, right? That's what you got to do. You don't. What you don't do is go, well, I'm really good at WordPress. What do I do now? Well, 
If you want to learn Shopify, go for it. Wix, Squarespace, all of that stuff. If you want to learn all of that, go for it. But then, you know, get used to the fact that you're going to be working with lots of different solutions. I definitely think CrocoBlock is more for is for pros. I do think it is more for people that got time to sit and learn. My trouble is I've got so much stuff on the go. Like this, this was meant to be done today, everything on here. I've now switched it out to be split over Tuesday, Wednesday. But I want to get the bulk of it done today. Um, but yeah, I think Crocker Block takes a lot more time. And if I knew I had three days and nothing else, I would do. But I do have to find the time. Yeah. Exactly, Holland. What you've just said there. Shall I let you know a secret? Shall I let you know a secret? Crocker Block gave me every single one of their premium plugins for free because they wanted me to do videos. After two days, do you know what I did? I gave them the plugins back. I went, I'm sorry, I can't do this. It's taking way too long for me to get my head around it and all of that. I was so honest and transparent about it. Right, listen, everybody, I have to go now, okay? I've got to cut the live. Uh, I haven't eaten. I want to go and grab a bite. And I also want to get on with some other stuff. So hate to say I'm going to be jumping off now. Please do like the videos. Please do share. Please don't forget to jump over to our mastery modules if you want to join in. Or even if you want to get hold of some merchandise, you are exclamation mark important. Okay. Um, you know, it's always fun. You know, I love having you guys here. I love chatting. I don't get much done. I'm just talking, but I love doing that, okay? Uh, I'm going to say take care, all of you. I've got to crack on with Andrew. I, I'm i building that analytics report, right? I'm building it out, okay? And I'm going to explain how you do it. And uh, I'll also share uh, a copy of the report for you to just bung your data in really easy as well. You'll be like, what? Is that it? and um, an analytics report as that you could reuse as well. Hopefully, I'm going to get that all done and I will release it in the next few days. Take care, Mark. Take care, Eddie. Uh, GA4 video. Uh, well, Eddie, this is using Google Analytics. That's what's so cool about it. All right, that's what's cool about it. It is using Google Analytics and Google Search Console. You're going to love it, all right? You're going to love it, and you're going to learn so much from it. Take care, everyone. Imran, Web Squadron, like, subscribe, share, and follow. Check out our mastery modules. Join us on the ride. Go and buy a T-shirt. You know, stop, you know, don't you don't have to sit there naked, okay? You don't have to sit there naked. 999 is a little high. What's 999? 999 is a little high. You know, Francisco, what's 999? What's 999? You've lost me there. What's 999? Don't forget to um, share. If, you, if we ever do a YouTube video and you like it, please share it on your social media or your blog. You take care too, Phil. I look forward to hearing about your managing WP solution when you get it done, okay? And I'd love to do a review on it, a video on it, when you know it is safe to put out there. Right, take care, you all. Oh, you mean Crocodlock? Yeah. Crocodlock is pricey, but hey. Bye, everybody. See you soon.